Hello guys, welcome to FM Tech today. I have CR Droid 8.4 official build installed with Yuki Kernel. I would give this ROM a 8x10 with Yuki Kernel. Because stock kernel is just bad, this ROM is feature rich, has great performance, as well as low idle drain. With my setup on this ROM, this is a perfect daily driver with low idle drain. It also has call recorder with no announcement, as it has open source dialer. The G apps package I use is mine. The G apps it has no issues and has Android Auto. I will link it in the description below. By default, it comes with Ethereum kernel, which I won't recommend as it has high idle drain. The ROM comes with CR Droid Launcher, which is nice. It has all the grid options and customization which you will ever need, such as multi line label hide app labels. Quick settings contains all necessary as well as unnecessary tiles, so there's no compromise there. Now let's go into CR Droid settings, and I will show you guys what customization and features it offers. Status bar section has all customizations you will ever need, like clock customization, status bar icon customization, old style signal icon 4G. Instead of LT network traffic indicator battery styles options and percentage toggle, brightness slider customizations, running applications option in quick settings, toggle to add auto brightness. If you don't want that power menu button in quick settings, you can also disable that from here. Now let's go into the lock screen sections. It has options for enabling and disabling media cover art battery info and option to toggle small clock if you hate the big clock. The main highlight is that here is that there is an option to toggle if fingerprint works when the screen is off it's a great feature, and I love it. You also have an option to disable ripple animation while unlocking. Now while we are in the navigation section one can say that it has button navigation option as well as gestures. In button section there is also another very useful feature I always use that is long press power button. While screen is off to enable torch you can also set a timeout for it. You also get customization options for power menu buttons. And you can enable advanced restart option from here. In the user interface section you get ambient display customizations and options, such as charging animation toggle full screen apps, option screen off animation, Monet theme settings, navigation bar theme font change option, which has whole lot of customization as I like on a plus font I use that you can use whatever font you guys like. There are also usual customizations like icon pack for signal icons, status bar icons, Wi-Fi icons, as well as icon shape options. In the notification section, you also get notification ticker, which is a smaller type of heads up. I personally like it very much. You also get colored notification icons, which many people were crying for in CR Droid groups. You also get an option to show volume panel on left, as well as pulse music visualizer. And for all gamers out there it does have game mode, it has all the features you need so flash Yuki and enjoy gaming with CR Droid's gaming mode. You also get options to enable higher FPS in game swipe to screenshot unlimited Google Photos storage toggle. You also get an OTA updater for over the air updates. As for the usual procedures, the ROM passes safety net by default, and has one lira by default, so no need to get modules for it. The ROM also comes with MIUI camera or X camera by default, which has 48 meters P camera working, but slow motion doesn't work. It also has call recorder with no announcement as it has open source dialer. The ROM also has its own gallery calculator calendar and music app, which are derived from lineage I believe. Thanks for watching please subscribe.